What's up, YouTube? You might want some CO2 for a kegerator, or maybe you have a soda stream. And soda stream, you can modify them to have your own CO2, like I've done. As you can see, when I crack open mine right now, I got a soda stream, which is hooked up to a 20 pound CO2 tank. I'll put a link to that video in the description, but basically, it's an adapter, and you no longer have to pay for their little bottles here of CO2, which are a big ripoff. Or maybe you're making your own beer, whatever it is, you want food grade CO2 and you need to acquire a CO2 bottle. Now, first off, the right, get this off the bat, is you can just go rent a bottle. Those are possibilities, but the price to rent a bottle is not a very good deal. I mean, there's definitely some pros to it that you don't have to like worry about hydro testing and things like that. Um, but in the long run, you will spend more money that way. Now, let's say you just wanna buy one. Um, you can go on Amazon right now and get a 20, I'm gonna go with the 20 pound. There's, you can get a, they come in five, little five pounders, 10 pounders, 20 pounders and 50 pounders. Uh, 50 pounders are huge. So I like the 20 pound because the cost to refill is fairly inexpensive. It's kind of the best bang for your buck. I mean, you can get better refill costs on a 50 pounder, but it's just so big and cumbersome. And if you're not doing the large operation, then go for a 20. No matter what size you're looking for, this tutorial will help you out. But let's just say we're looking for a 20 ouncer. We can go online right now and get one on Amazon for $125 with free shipping. Not a bad deal. Or you can get one for 105, but it's 120 after shipping. But these are gonna come empty. You now have to still refill them. So refills will range on a 20 pounder somewhere between 35 and $65, depending on where you go. So the actual overall cost is about 180. Now, what I ended up doing is I went on Craigslist and I got one used. And it already had CO2 in it. It was an old Pepsi uh, CO2 tank. Some things to consider when it's used is whether it's steel or aluminum. You definitely want aluminum if possible because not only is it lighter, but it's more it's the standard tank that most people use for food grade CO2. I've heard that people can get away with steel, but you're going to exchange some people will actually exchange a steel tank for an aluminum. So you might want to call around your local air gas and and air companies and ask if they would exchange a steel tank and maybe they'll just charge you a small surcharge so steel isn't impossible but just make sure you know what you're buying whether it be aluminum or steel after you've done that another thing to do when you go to check out the bottle is look for the hydro date on top of these bottles there there's a little stamp and i'll show you what that looks like in just a second here i just had a good photo of one a second ago here you go so here's one <clears throat> this is done september 2007 i'll get another one for you here um, this one is 705, so that would be uh, May, Ju July 2005. Um, here's another one. You can see that it originally was done in 99, and then it was done again in 2007. And uh, usually you want to hydro test every five years. So if it's unhydro tested, then that means that you need to do a hydro test, and it could ch cost you some money to do that. So do keep in mind if the bottle is new or not. I found plenty of co2 places though that'll still exchange a bottle even if it's outside of the hydro date so it's not a deal breaker just make sure you call around first to really see um you know if you could if you if they'll exchange it or not i find that the air gas companies are harder to get to exchange than like some of the um smaller companies so use yelp use a directory and find some local smaller gas companies and they tend to be a little more lenient as far as you know exchanging a steel bottle exchanging a rental bottle or exchanging um one that's out of hydro date uh the actual financials i actually did this a while ago on my soda stream and uh, i found that you know this is about the average use cost that i saw on Craigslist. If you can get something in this price range, if you get one used for 50, a 10 pounder, a 20 pounder for 75. So I picked up mine for 65 and it was out of hydro date, but it still had CO2, like three quarters of the way of CO2 in it. So then the question is, well, Drew, if it's out of hydro date, it's old CO2, does CO2 go bad? And from my research, it's an inert gas. Therefore, no, it doesn't really go bad. So even if it's an older tank, as long as it hasn't been contaminated around the as long as it doesn't get contaminated like around the top part there and it's not all rusted over and things like that, I would still use it. But again, it's up to you and you know if you knew the person and ask for receipts or any kind of records for the CO2 bottle. So here again, <clears throat> again, here's the financials. If you can get any of these bottles, you know, $100 for the 50 pounds, 75 for the 20 or 50 for the 10, that's a really good deal. If it has air in it already, that's an even better deal. 
Um, this is the adapter that I use for my soda stream. I did some financials for this on a previous video of just seeing like what's my annual cost of making my own sparkling water. Uh, because you know, I, I would buy Pellegrino or other sparkling waters and I was like, well, if I can kind of build my own setup here, what is the cost? And it's, as you can see, much, much cheaper than, uh, than, uh, you know, making, buying it Pellegrino and things like that. And it's less on the environment with all the plastic bottles and things. So there you have it, how to buy a used CO2 tank. I mean, I what I did was I put a wanted ad on Craigslist and I just kept you know, occasionally getting people calling me and eventually after a couple months, somebody called and was like, hey, I got some tanks and uh, we made a deal happen. Uh, search on Craigslist and there'll be some there and you can maybe find some local people. But they're, they, you know, they go on and on. There's a lot of people on and off. There's a lot of people doing microbreweries, things like that. So you, know, you can find these circulating around and you can find some good deals on them. If you don't care about the money saving thing, I would just go on Amazon, buy one and then exchange it. And I mean, you're talking about 150 bucks for a 20 pounder with the air. So not, not too bad at all. Where if you just go to air gas and you buy it, you're gonna pay full, full price, way more than that. So it's up to you and your journey. I hope you find one. I hope you save some money. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And we'll see you guys on the next one.